Hello there, gentle people. I hope you guys are doing all right. I know it's been a while. I wanted to check in because I am moving into a new bullet journal starting today, which is August 1st. And it's been about two years now that I've been using this method for planning, the bullet journal method. And um, the book, well, the journal that I've tended to use a lot is the Loistrum. And I know the pronunciation is kind of funny. Um, that's how it's spelled right there. L-E-U-C-H-T-T-U-R-M. The first time I saw it, I was like, Loistrum. Like, anyway, it's Loistrum, which is easy to remember because my name is Loy. So it's Loistrum. But anyway, so... I normally get them at my local museum because oddly enough they're actually cheaper at the museum than they are in the stores and on Amazon. This one though I actually got in my local Barnes & Noble. It was on sale. It's actually the bullet journal version of the Loistrum. I don't know if you can kind of see it here but it has bullet journal imprinted in here and it has information about the bullet journal and how to do it and all that good stuff included inside so this one is particularly for bullet journaling but i don't even stress this stuff too much um because i've been doing it for a while now and the most important thing to remember is that your bullet journal is yours please don't come on here and watch all these people doing all this craziness in their bullet journal and feel like you need to have yours looking like that i love them i think they're really really cool if you have a lot of time but this is bullet journaling for busy people so let's get to it on, on the very inside page, I have my contact information, so I'll just leave that one right there. And I basically cut these two calendars uh, out of um, a sheet of paper I printed. The calendars are available online. I'll put a link below. And I like them because they were really cool and had cool colors and they're free. And like I said, this is specifically for the bullet journal, so it had some information here. And the first couple pages in your bullet journal are going to be the index. Mine is blank now. People, I've been doing this bullet journal thing for two years and I, I have yet to write stuff in the index. I just, I never use it. So I'll see if I do it this time, but who knows? Probably not. These little markers here, they're just little pieces of tape and you can use washi tape. And what that's good for is to kind of help you figure out, okay, you know, these are my important places that I need to turn to on a regular basis. And it just kind of helps you see where you need to go. All right, so scratch the index because uh, Loy is hard at indexes. And the next thing that you come to is your future log. And I always break mine up into quarters. So July, August, September, October, November, December. And you just basically put important dates. And because I will be teaching again this upcoming school year, uh, I pretty much took like a little one year sabbatical, but I will be back in the classroom teaching AP computer science principles and critical thinking skills, A-level critical thinking skills. So anyway, um, I just have my teacher planning date stuff in there and the federal holidays and just the big days that you can remember now. As stuff comes up, you can always put it in the future log, but it's just things to think about ahead of time. And I don't have time to sit down and do all the drawing stuff, so I tend to use a lot of stickers. And you just can find some cheap stickers in the kids section. And they give you a lot more space for the future log. If you're using or doing this bullet journaling in a plain journal, you can just decide how many pages you want to include. And the f other thing I have here is you will see in some bullet journals people have this circle and they do all of this coloring and all this excitement and i did that a couple of times but i found that i didn't use that diagram pretty much i just wanted the information so this is as it pertains to a level 10 life and there are 10 different aspects of your life uh what are you know some simple goals that you want to accomplish in each and like i said today is my first time kind of organizing everything in this new journal so i haven't filled in these yet but they have to do with health and fitness personal growth love and romance which is non-existent in my life uh family and friends spirituality career 
business, fun and recreation, contribution service, physical environment and finances. And people, it is not in order of importance. So um, pretty much I just kind of left two spaces in between and I will fill these in with some simple goals that I want to accomplish um, in order to pretty much manifest these things in my life. My morning routine is on this page and it's one, two, three, four, five, six different things. And it kind of came from the miracle morning. But then as I went through the miracle morning, I realized that it was just a complete ripoff of Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. So I kind of just stuck to that. I'm like, let me just go with the original. But anyway, when I get up in the morning, um, meditation and prayer, and I always explain to people that for me, meditation is, uh, well, prayer is talking to God and meditation is listening for what God has to say. And um, right now I'm just on the basic plain no frills sitting in silence meditation i've done tons of different kinds of meditations throughout the years but just be quiet just sit and, and be still with yourself and the affirmations are napoleon hill's affirmations in think and grow rich and you'll see that when i turn the page and the visualizations are from a book uh, that I've had for a couple of years now called Create Your Art Career. So what I'm going to do is record the audio of the visualizations and kind of play those for myself in the morning. And then for my exercises, just some simple yoga and some weight training. And then reading, um, I tend to read a lot, but I have a habit of reading a whole bunch of books at one time. So I need to completely get through at least one book per week. That's the goal that I've given myself. And writing, this is what I've been doing for a long time, morning pages. If you've ever read The Artist's Way, uh, you know exactly what that is. If not, don't worry, I'll put a link in the box below so you can find out what morning pages are and these are uh, not even just a game changer. These are a life changer. So that's the 11 to 10 life and the morning routine. And uh, as far as affirmations are concerned, these I pulled directly from Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich. Uh, he refers to these affirmations as a self-confidence formula. And they're pretty awesome. You're supposed to read them in the morning and again before you go to sleep at night. So twice per day. And if you do have some time during the day to read it, then that just makes it even better. So I actually have this. Uh, I wrote this out and have a copy of it on my desk. And um, I keep a copy of it in my handbag and I have it in my book. So anywhere, anytime I can just grab it. So those are the affirmations uh, for Napoleon Hill's self-confidence formula. If you haven't read Think and Grow Rich yet, trust me, read the book. And a part of Think and Grow Rich is to write down what your definite chief aim is in life. And I have this blank. I haven't put it here yet. I was looking at the last one I wrote and I think I want to make some adjustments to it, which is why I have not completed this section as yet. This right here, this six month vision creator, people going back to this whole bullet journal for busy people, business again. Sometimes I have the time to kind of like draw these lines and all this excitement. If you don't print stuff online and just tape it in the book. If you don't have time for all of the complication, that's as easy as it gets. And I'll also include a link for this in the box below as well. These I got from a lady's website. I think her name is Jo Chunyan. If it's not Jo Chunyan, it's Joy Chunyan. But I'll put a link. She has some really cool free downloadables and I got a bunch of these from her and just cut them out and stuck them in a journal. So this is cool because starting this today, six months from now is January. So pretty much what are the different things that I want to accomplish in these areas over the next six months? You have to... You have to think it before you can make it happen, right? And on this side, this, it it kind of took me a while to get used to looking at a calendar like this because I'm used to this calendar spread with the weeks coming across. And But this is the way Ryder Carroll did it in his original bullet journal. So I've been trying to do it like this, even though it's kind of requiring a little brain shift for me. And pretty much what you do is you just have your, your month at the top of the page and you just list 
all the days down in terms of the number and the days of the week and then you just kind of plug in the important things this this tracker here this tracker comes from boho berry and at the bottom of hers when you print it out she has all her information and everything but i kind of just like to write it out myself um it kind of helps the quote stick into my head and pretty much um if you subscribe to her resource library she'll give you uh a tracker for every single month so this is the august tracker and pretty much these are all the things that you want to kind of keep track of during the month and you fill in whatever it is that you want to keep track of if it is drink eight glasses of water every day then you can go ahead and put that there but for me it's just pretty much all my morning stuff uh i've been kind of slacking because this has been uh, a nice summer holiday so i put those things in there and of course my art um which is important to me so make art every day do my morning routine every day those are the things i want to keep track of this month and it changes month to month it just depends on what you want to keep track of that particular month and here this is pretty much my gratitude log i just gave it two pages um i didn't want to give one line i tend to when i start thinking about all the things i'm grateful for i think oh i'll just need one line and then i get kind of carried away which is probably a good thing but i left two spaces in between um to put what i'm grateful for every single day this is important people and these are two um, downloadables uh, I got again from the Chanyan lady and one has to do with taking stock. I'm going to address this at the end of the month. What it does is it allows you to create your own little time frame and you're pretty much reflecting and taking stock of the different things that you did throughout the month. So were you creating? Were you cooking? Were you inspired? Reading? Wearing? Noticing? Smiling about? Opening up to? And it's not mandatory. Well, nothing is mandatory, people, but you don't have to do every single one of these. You just pick what you were kind of focused on throughout the month and you basically take stock at the end of the month. This is a weekly planner that she has, but what I noticed is to me it's more of like a self-care type of thing and you know what are the areas that you want to focus on this week and then according to the different days you know how do we want to feel today three things that you're going to do for yourself today and each day has a different little prompt and i like them they're pretty cool i see beauty in i am letting go of i love myself because i see abundance in i will create space by my heart is calling me to and i trust in so I just noted this as self-care because that's not like to-do lists or anything like that. It's, you know, how can you take care of yourself for the week? Uh, so I just kind of stuck that in there. And then pretty much this is my weekly spread for this week. And again, I just, I did it today, which is why it's all blank. Literally just finished it a while ago. But this section here is just going to depend on how much space you need i put everything on one page there are times people where i only have two days on one page sometimes i might have three days on one page and because it's summer and i don't have too much going on that's why i have it you know everything just on one page but the bullet journal is for you to customize please don't feel obligated to do exactly what you see people doing online you have to do what works for you. That's what I'm always trying to explain to people because they get very intimidated when they start watching all these videos on YouTube about the bullet journal. And it was never intended to be that complex. It is only as complex as you make it. So don't get intimidated. Just go ahead and get started. So my week, the spaces are small. And then this is something I kind of came up with and I'm sure it was influenced from somewhere where I can't remember, but this is what I kind of put together for myself. And I always call it shit to get done this week, pardon my French. So the top three goals I'm 100% committed to achieving this week. So what are those three goals? And then here, you know, I have it split up according to personal, home, career, slash business. What are my to-dos in those areas? And then this section here is for the end of the week. So what accomplishments or disappointments did I have this week? And what can I commit to 
now to make next week even better so this section here is where i kind of look at on sunday and you know kind of plug everything in here and then this I don't know it's just whatever it can be a brain dump it can be an even bigger to-do list it can be doodles it can be whatever you bloody well want it to be right here it does not matter people it is yours and then the rest of these blank pages let me tell you i fill it up with all kinds of foolishness and then when i need to go till my next week i just start my next week and put one of these little uh pieces of washi tape or stickers here so i know where the next week starts but remember the bullet journal is for you to dump every single thing inside of it so i don't because this is new you can't really see the type of stuff that I would normally put in there but believe me when I tell you I threw every single solitary thing inside this bullet journal I don't keep something separate in terms of a separate planner everything goes in here if I feel like writing if I feel like journaling for a longer period of time if I feel like doodling or sketching or have ideas everything goes in here because the beauty of it is you're not limited to a typical planner where it's like oh here is your week every single week and it's in this order and this is the space you're limited to you kind of create it and make it work for you so that is my little bullet journal update thank you guys so much for being with me you could be anywhere but you choose to be here and watch this video i appreciate your time your presence and your energy and Peace out. I will see you soon.